it's fun because you're actually appreciated. <laughs> you know, if for a while there, it was like farmers were looked down upon and, oh God, they have a tractor going down the road. And now you'll get a wave. We used to get the finger, now we get the wave. We're bringing the truck over and we're gonna load up the CSA baskets and take them down to the flower shop. CSA members start picking up at one o'clock. So between one and six, they pick up. They usually bring back their box from last week and then we give them the full box. We go through what they're gonna have in the box for the week. You just kind of peel it, dice it, boil it a little bit like you would a turnip. And then instead of just mashing it like a turnip, you can um, roast it. Today we have my brother Ben, my other brother Steven, uh, we have Joey. My father is actually here, but he's also out on delivery. My mother will be down at the flower shop uh, helping disseminate the uh, vegetables to the uh, CSA members. Even my wife Amanda and baby Madeline will be making an appearance. CSA for me means fresh produce grown by a familiar face that the customer can meet, shake my hand, and pick up their produce every week. Thank you very much. Okay. Have a good day. Enjoy. The farm Woodbury, Connecticut is located in northern Woodbury, which is in Litchfield County. And we have a base farm of 165 working acres, uh, woods, rivers, and tillable land. We also manage about 350 acres in neighboring towns to grow other vegetables and crops. In the early season, early summer, we get things that like broccoli, radishes, eggplants, peppers. The farm's famous sweet corn, cucumbers, beets, we do okra, yellow squash, zucchini, and kale, and lots of different types of coal crops. We have red cabbage, savoy cabbage, uh, regular green head cabbage, four different types of cauliflower. We have white cauliflower, graffiti, which is a purple cauliflower, cheddar, which is the orange cauliflower. I think we even have green cauliflower in here, verde. We also do about 45 different types of tomatoes. We have rice from France, Greece, Egypt, Mexico, China, we have some from Italy, of course, and those are plum tomatoes, uh, San Marzano, which um, this is going to be our first year trying to make our different types of tomato sauces, and it's kind of exciting. Making our hay starts with mowing. You have to mow the hay before you can bale it. So we mow it, pet it, which shakes it out to dry. The reason we want it to dry nice, number one, is if you bale wet hay and you compress it into a tight bale, it can actually mold and start a fire. And another reason, of course, is that moldy hay has dust and animals don't really like that. They want to be like they were in the field. We bale it up and put it in the barn, dry. And then we ship it to our customer. I've been working at the farm since it became a farm. When I was probably eight years old, I started selling vegetables in front of my house. It's become more fun for me because my brothers are more involved. I've worked on the farm before I was eight years old and uh, even sooner. Uh, my favorite part is watching things grow from seed and working with the animals and smelling the fresh soil turned over. Can't beat it. I have been working at the farm since a young age of probably about eight years old. What I like about working at the farm is our seasons are always changing. We work pretty much all year round. We do different things in the spring. We make maple syrup. Production of maple syrup is from February through March. We change gears and we go into the greenhouses where we grow different annuals for fundraisers and local garden centers. The greenhouses started here in 1988 with one greenhouse of approximately 2,000 square feet and since then we've grown to over 25,000 square feet and 15 greenhouses. What we have here is our trial greenhouse for the possibility of a fall CSA in 2014. This is uh, Bright Lights Swiss chart which is a rainbow colored Swiss chard. And right here is a green bib lettuce, loose leaf lettuce. These are a red beet that we're trying in a hanging basket. What's the reason you're growing it in here and not in the field? Because they take the cold. Because the snow will fall in October and you'll be screwed. I said that nicely. It started off fun, and then it became work, and now it's becoming fun again at the same time. And with the community starting to really support and stand behind local agriculture and understand the importance of knowing where their food comes from, who's raising it, you know, meeting us and, and discovering 
more local niche items, you know, like honey or maple syrup or, you know, things that we're kind of famous for in this region that you won't see in other regions of the, the U.S. So it's coming back around again. As opposed to grocery store, you don't know who's growing it, where it's coming from, which country it's coming from. So this, you know where your food's coming from. Face behind the food.